But watch this, right? So you lay your doll, you get your plus two from the guy. Now you put four counters on it from this guy because this gets the plus two. Now it puts four because it was at four power. Now we immediately sacrifice the doll. So then we get four spiders. They all get the boost. And then we put four more counters on the spiders. So let's do this instead. So check this out. So because they're all getting the boost, these two damages are actually, um, what is it? Six damage each. There we go. That should do it. <laughs> okay, the twitching doll, dude, you love to see it. Of course I'm always getting it so late here, but check this out. Boom, bam, jabam, boom. Absolutely insanity. That is a lot of trample damage coming on in out of nowhere. So you can win the game like that very, very easily. Okay, so check this out. Double up our stuff. Cast homeboy. So we go face because it's going to get way bigger with the railway brawler here. So look at that. Boom. Five, five, eleven. <laughs> So what you do here, so if we can hit with Trumpeting Carnosaur, the um, Enduring Innocence, bro, I will be a friggin' happy camper. So happy. Dude, tell me we hit it, baby. Tell me we do. Okay, Kami's cool too. That's fine. Whatever. This should enter the battlefield, which puts more counters on our guys. You see that? You see that? Are you seeing it? Are you seeing it? So this is an Enduring Courage deck. I'll come back to this guy in a second, but all these guys can get haste and swing for even more damage. Now, obviously, that plus two is pretty serious, especially when you have things like Railway Brawler, because you'll get the plus two before you put the counters, so you'll basically be quadrupling value well you'll be doubling it but you know what i mean and you'll have these huge hasty guys swinging on in for serious damage obviously that works good with terror of the peaks so you plus to them they're gonna swing that turn too you also get double the counters you would have got from Wail railway brawler we also have kami in here putting more counters she's helping you ramp she's helping you grow bigger you lay a trumpeting carnosaur, you get the plus two from Enduring Courage, then, since it's at nine power, you get nine more counters from Railway Brawler, you're swinging it with Trample, you're doing the same thing with Grub Triplets, you're also discovering five, you have your red cap in here, you lay your Enduring Courage, this guy gives plus two to this dude, get Menace, at least five damage, the rats are swinging for three, but of course, they're doubling their power, so it's probably... A 10-10 swinging out of nowhere with rats that are 6-6s um, six swinging out of nowhere if Courage is on the field. Now, the other card is Twitching Doll. Now, I am so mad at myself for not recording this earlier play, but basically, I had Railway on the field, um, and I had Kami, I think, as well. Now, if Railway's on the field and you just cast a Twitching Doll... Um, you can essentially, you'll get plus two from the Enduring Courage on your Twitching Doll. So it'll be a four power doll. Then you get four counters from Railway Brawler. So then you have four counters on your guy. This guy has haste. So you can tap it to get four spiders. Now the spiders are going to come in as four power spiders that then get four counters from railway brawler they're swinging again because of courage who originally buffed them and gave him haste so then you lay one doll you're swinging for freaking um what did i just say uh that's 12 that wait wait, wait, wait. that's 32 damage out of nowhere because they're eight power spiders you're getting four of them um Wait, am I doing math right? Yeah, 32.
So if if this guy's on the field and you just lay a twitching doll, and you, you also have to have this. So these three guys together are like the most insane thing ever. Like it's kind of ridiculous. And that's not considering if you just have a Kami that's first of all helping you cast this stuff. Um, but also just buffing it and then buffing it more because of Railway Brawler. Dude, I, I'm sorry, I'm cheesing, but it's so, like, it's so stupid. It's so dumb. Say if Terror of the Peaks is on the field. <laughs> just like, dude, how much damage could you ask for? Kami, by the way, obviously can tap for stuff based on its power. So, Snakeskin Veil is a really great way of protecting your Kami, protecting your Twitching Doll. It also puts a counter on Twitching Doll, because remember, you get a spider for each counter, not just the nest counters for ramping ramping with it, but also on the, of the plus one counters. So you protect your Kami one turn, you protect your Twitching Doll one turn, you're in business, you're already moving towards greatness, because then later you cast probably maybe your Enduring Courage, and then they're gonna probably wanna remove this, but even if they do, you still get it stuck to the battlefield. So it's very resilient in that way. So we're also running Paw Patch Recruit here, which can put counters on you guys and sort of act as a pseudo protection spell. So if you if they do remove any of your guys, you can put a bunch of counters, especially if you offspring it, onto Kami or onto Twitching Doll. So it's really not too hard to imagine. You just have to sort of wait, like hopefully you lay this guy. Once you lay this guy, you pop all your spiders and you just get a ridiculous amount of damage swinging with haste. It's so insane. It's like hilarious. Um, anyway, you have Picnic Ruiner, which in and of himself can swing for eight damage double strike. So 16, if you get the plus two from Enduring Courage, you can also cast the distribute three counters onto your Twitching Doll before you pop it or your Kami to ramp and lay your huge guys. If you really just need to get a huge 7-6 on the field that can hopefully discover and then maybe hit this guy or your Terror of the Peaks, you're in business. And then you pop your doll. And then you just win, right? Like, you just win. It's so much damage. It's so much haste. It's so ridiculous. Um, this card is okay. You can... We're not really playing for the Delirium stuff, but this guy is mostly as a card filtering thing, and the 2-3 body is not bad at all. It's actually pretty respectable. Um, you can block a lot of earlier creatures. You can just throw it in front of a Monstrous Rage early if you have to, sort of buy yourself some time. Um, and there's just a lot of other things you can do. You have your Voldaren, just one. Put that on a Kami, then it can tap and sort of replace itself that turn. And remember, you are getting an extra damage and if you just need a little bit of final damage somehow even though you'll have more than enough you can put this onto one of our larger creatures which we'll have many of boom bam baby um you have samutin here because we do again have all of these haste these haste things and if you put counters on this guy the first strike vigilance is serious like first strike vigilance with a larger body is pretty insane and hard to get through. So even if you're not drawing cards off of him, you're just winning as well. So, I mean, dude, it's so good. It's kind of ridiculous. Gruff triplets, right? This guy comes in, gets the plus two. It's a five, three. Then you double the counters. It's a 10, uh, eight, right? And then you also get the other copies that are swinging that are also 10 eights. And then if any of them die, then you put those counters onto one of the other guy. They're just insane. And Terror of the Peaks is pinging them for damage. And don't forget that Kami is increasing the number of counters too. So it's just like, it's so silly. Restless Ridge is in the mana base. Um, this is good. First of all, this little plus two is pretty serious. Um, when we have so much haste action and large creatures and trample. Um, it's one of the better creature lands, in my opinion, and I love it. I really do love it. Um, you can, by the way, trigger the Delirium with fear of missing out, because this is an artifact creature. This is an enchantment creature. Um, then you just need, like, a land. You could probably pitch the land with this card, or maybe your favorite passage, or maybe you surveil it in. Um, yeah, you, you, you can actually trigger the Delirium, because your Snakes can veil is your only instant or sorcery. But, uh, yeah, you also have Innkeeper's Talent in here. Which, let me tell you, it's just as good as it always is. So, you love that. Um, anyway, thank you for making it th through the intro. I have actually so many games of playing this deck. We were winning 
so much. Um, so I hope that I consolidate it down to like maybe the best few games, maybe the best four, um, which is often too many games, but if you make it through at least one, hugely appreciate it. And uh, thanks for all the support recently. It's been awesome. Uh, some recent subscribers, so hell yeah. Um, the videos are starting to get a little bit more views, a little bit more traction. That feels really good. I'm experimenting with shorts a little bit, um, just showing off some of the more my more favorite cards or I don't know, just, just experimenting. So check those out too, if you could. Um, yeah, the deck's so good. Definitely try it. Definitely try it. This is one, this is one of the better decks I've made in a while. Um, it's almost as sexy as that doppelganger deck that my last one was. <laughs> just kidding. This might even be better. It really might. Now in the video, I never did really. So because I didn't record that one famous clip i don't know what it was i wasn't this was either getting exiled right before i cast this guy right before i was going to pop this or i wasn't getting the pieces at the right time or it was just like yeah we can just win with terror of the peaks there's one game that i'll probably put in where i wasn't even swinging i was like dude i don't even care i don't even care at all i'm just trying to top deck the enduring courage which we never got so anyway thank you for your support I will see you in the next video, and good luck on the arena. No mulligans for you. See you next time. Okay, I just sneezed so violently that I'm still shaking a little bit, but I will be okay. Can we please get the Wombo Combo? Can we show off the Twitching Doll, please? Brother. brother oh my god okay so now we just need one more piece oh my god one more piece so cool give it to me please please i beg of you please one more mana would be good too moss word okay um do we yeah we just slayed twitching doll this might get removed but like you gotta risk it for the biscuit and if we can slap down Kami. And the idea is to have a bunch of those nest counters. So Jaboomy. Alright. That's cool. Bro, I'm fine with that, brother. <gasps> that was gonna be a cut down action moment. They lay a black and then lay cut down. That'd be kinda hilarious. Um yeah, it makes... No, this is so good, though. But no, we're trying to find courage. Give me the courage. Okay, Kami. Access to a ton of mana next turn. We can do a n number of things. We can either Paw Patch and Twitchy Doll. We can plot this. Maybe hold up Snakeskin Veil. Wouldn't be too bad either. Um... If Kami gets removed, it's not the end of the world. It's just, like, so insane juicy if she sticks around. But... I mean, no swings, dude. Who cares? I guess we also kind of have to worry about not dying, but... It's kind of annoying what they are playing here. So the Terra Peaks is good. Terra Peaks is good. Like, don't get me wrong. Um, so yeah, Paw Patch is actually kind of nice because it gives them sort of, you know, if they do aim to remove our stuff, we can like, we can, you know, <laughs> we can get counters. Yeah, there we go. All right. Bro, can you give me the courage, please? I would like the courage, the cowardly dog, please. Um, I guess we do kind of have to block these guys here, dude. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Jellybean? Don't want to remove both of those. Yeah. Yeah. And they remove one. No, they don't. We would get counters anyway, so that'd be kind of juicy. Okay, cool. I think that's cool. Are we cool with that? Are we a big fan? Um. <laughs> One, two, 
this is Ward 1. Um, fear is okay. Fear is okay. I guess we're low-key worried about dying, though, which is, like, not the vibe. It's not the vibe. So do we lay this first and just block with it is the question. Give me the courage. Give it to me. No! Okay, that's fine. We can work with that. Um... Yeah. Beep. All right. So unless they like double remove, well, if they remove trumpet, <laughs> yeah, we're dead. <laughs> if they remove trumpet, we're dead. <laughs> uh, dude, they're not playing it. That is so funny. They're like Golgari uh, counters. Okay. Big fan. Big fan. Bro, I will gladly block here. No swing from the might. Bro, all day do I block this, bro. Come on. Okay, can we... No, we can't. Okay, so if we... Well, no, we can't. No, okay. So we, we might be able to... Am I doing my math right? So if we put a counter counting as five... If we top deck a mana, though... Oh, they got rid of the enchantment, though. Bro, that is such a boner killer. Um, yeah, so we lay, yeah, okay, so, okay, all right, okay, I can work with this. Let's fear of missing out. Dude, if it gives me the courage, finally, finally, I say. All right, get rid of the doll, I guess. <gasps> no, it's not. Okay, that's lame. Do we swing? Sure, why not? Fear of Mission Out does have the Delirium stuff, so we can... Look through cool things next turn, folks. No, we, we're just going to get these big spiders, though. So with Railway Brawler, like... Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Brother. Brother in Christ. Dude, a Glissa? Dude, can you give me the card? Um, okay. Ooh. No. That's greedy. Do we do it, though? Do we do it? Are we doing it? Should we do it? Yeah, we gotta do it. Yeah. Okay. 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 Dude, I don't care about this, bro. Alright, so we plot this. Courage? Dude, who cares about swinging? I mean... So this has to attack too. So, yeah, I don't care. You know what I mean? Like, sure. I'll swing, but... Who cares? All right. Check this out. Brothers and sisters. Hermanos y hermanas. Familia. Um, sorry. <laughs> All right. Innkeeper's talent guy. Are you not running, like, Audacity? Well, I guess you are running Mosswood that already has Trample. I would imagine, like, some Trample cards, though. You know what I mean? So I am a little scared. Um... No, dude, if they kill my Twitching Doll, bro... No, they're exiling my graveyard. Mm. 
Do you not realize that the twitching doll is about to kill you? That is so funny. Uh, <laughs> swing. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Okay. But wait. But wait. But wait. So we obviously lay this. If we lay Gruff Triplets, though, they kind of just die. It's kind of what makes me sad. Is because if we lay Gruff Triplets, they die. And that's sad. Because they these guys come in as... What is it? They're going to come in as uh, big boys. So let's do this instead. So check this out. So because they're all getting the boost these two damages are actually um what is it six damage each there we go that should do it <laughs> so they're gonna take 30 more damage um bro why can't i get the enduring courage all right so i guess i'm gonna have to end the video here and just explain in the intro that the world the the universe wasn't allowing me so if the courage buffed up these spiders then they get the plus two before they get the counters because this gives counters based on its power so they would be four two spiders okay kami two commies is interacting so they would double to eight but they would actually double to ten uh yeah they would double to ten power spiders so each of these would be 10 damage, so we would do 70 damage out of nowhere. And, like, you could see that we weren't even trying to win, plus we could have laid Gruff Triplets. So, I mean, yeah, it's just... It's just bananas, bro. It's just bananas. Day 69 of trying to get all of the pieces. I think I got it on my first game playing the deck. And... I haven't quite got the full, like, spider swing montage that I've wanted ever since. So that's really unfortunate. I guess we get rid of one snake skin. That's probably fine. Okay. Railway brawler. Okay. That's cool. We do need one more mana to actually do things here. They get rid of the Atraxa. Okay, one more mana has been achieved. So we're a big fan, we're a big fan. Red Cap's actually kind of nice for finding our pieces sometimes, in all honesty. I think we just lay Red Cap here. Or do we plot the Rhino? No, dude, we plot the Rhino. So we can get big, uh, big boys. Let's have that rhino ready to go. Big fan. <laughs> All right, Frick, see the obliterator. Uh, um, okay. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? No, let's. Hmm. All right, sure. Let's lay this. Right? We can, um... Yeah, should we just do that? I think that's smart, right? Okay. Go to combat. Kami's big. Great. No attacks. We lay... This. Why not, dude? We're gonna freaking die to stupid Phyrexian uh, Oblita Oblitagonga. <laughs> I love that, like, recently I've just been playing to try to get, like, combos. Um, or nice plays, so to speak. Haven't even been caring about winning, like, at all, dude. Um, okay, so check this out. Double up our stuff. 
cast homeboy. So we go face because it's going to get way bigger with a railway brawler here. So look at that. Boom. Five, five, eleven. <laughs> Dude, that that was funny. See, that's what I'm playing for, dude. I don't even care about winning, but like, you get the extra comment, and then this is counters extra counter. Bro, okay, okay. Let's get a nice little game in here. We have two twitching dolls, which we love to see. The fear early is nice too for sort of filtering and finding our pieces. We have to find the dog, the enduring courage. Um, so delirium, okay. So I respect that, and three Twitching Dolls is honestly fine. We can cast any of our larger spells pretty darn soon here, folks. Definitely big fan. And Snakeskin Veil makes a big difference. If you can protect your doll, putting another counter on it, you're feeling good. Did they trigger Delirium? No. Okay. So... The Kami McLami folks. We will absolutely cast Kami, I think. No. Double Twitchy Doll. Yeah. I think that's the move. I really do. So if we get a good card, great. We keep it. If not, we Kami and we just like protect these Twitching Dolls. But you want to grow these nest counters. Okay. Haste action. No delirium. Perfect. We're feeling good. All right, so we definitely pitched this land. We even we already have another one. So we're feeling good. So that's not great. Um let's lay this. We'll see what we what we have. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Maybe enough twitching dolls to go around here. We will tap these guys. And we will chill. And the cool thing is that we'll be able to tap this, which is good, while protecting Kami. Kami will add another counter because of its static ability. So we're feeling very nice. Can't kill me, bud. Huh. Fear of missing out can do another combat step. We'll eat this one. Okay. So. Yeah. We chill. Um. We will swing with these two. Which is really powerful. In all honesty, we could start getting more aggressive, like, absolutely. Um, whenever it attacks another... Okay. Because this has to be another creature. So it really doesn't matter, from what I understand. Did I miss... Did I just miss out on something? Yeah, we should have... Um, we could get one more damage if we... No, yeah, it's the same. I mean, like, they're taking 7, 11. They're dead. They're just dead. That's how that works, baby! So, Delirium with Fear of Missing Out is juicy. Cannot complain about that. The land is also honestly really nice. We didn't even... So, the idea is we tap these Twitching Dolls with the dog on the field... If you have the Rhino, it's GG, but very powerful deck. Um, we're doing great things. Let's get into more games to show you actual combos. All right, so here we are with a one mana hand, which I think is just too risky. Requires a little too much, so we have to mulligan this one. Um, I suppose that's fine. I don't necessarily care about having Gruff Triplets here, but we can just get rid of one of the mana, I think. Which will, I guess, be the mountain. Sure. All right, we'll lead with this. Let's see what happens. We always want to get our switching doll as early as possible. 
Um, so hopefully we get that. Just, no, okay. All right, all right, all right. So they're playing the, um, I've seen this deck a few times. They're gonna probably be playing Toby next turn from what I imagine, or they do like a Sheltered by Ghost to take out the combi here, which could be could be smart, but, and the combi is kind of awkward with our hand that we have, so we don't love that. And yeah, they can exile cards, but there's none to do that to, so that is fine. So, we get down the Courage. I think we just cast Paw Patch here, which is really nice. Because we can just get in a nice little swing. Yeah, their Enduring Innocence dies. But we hit him with the thanks. We're totally fine with that, I think. What's really nice about the Rabbit is they try to remove stuff. We put the counters on Kami. Obviously, Kami can then cast like Rev Triplets super easily. And we can sort of pop off. Cast like our Terrors and whatnot. Okay, so they're going for their Dollmaker's Strat. They don't swing, though. They don't want to lose their stuff for free. So Voldaren here is pretty sexy, because we can do this. We can't... Um, we can't really make, like, an insane, insane play. But it's not too shabby. Okay? So we got the Hasty Boys. Um, Voldaren is most likely going to die, but we'll probably just pop it. Imagine they don't block, because we, we could, like, pop both of these, which would be kind of insanity. They would take 8, 11, pop for both, 17, or, um, yeah, they would be at 1 life if we got all of our damage off here, but I highly doubt it. During Courage is such a good card, bro. I love this card, dude. It's so good, bro. Holy guacamole quesadilla. Because we like Graf Triplets next turn. We are in Bizanisa. Absoluta Bizanisa. Okay, I am fine with that. We let the Voldarian connect. We don't care if one of the dogs dies. Because we still have the dog. We're going to take out both anyway. Um, yeah, let's just do three. Because we have that boost this turn. Why not, right? We could have popped Kami too, but that's dumb. We don't lose the Kami. Because Gruff Triplets, obviously, next turn is pretty bananas, folks. Pretty darn bananas. Okay, the Twitching Doll, dude. You love to see it. Of course, I'm always getting it so late here. But, check this out. Boom, bam. Jabam, boom. Absolutely insanity. That is a lot of trample damage coming on in out of nowhere. So you can win the game like that very, very easily. Okay, so I've been trying to get a hand where we have all three of the pieces here to do the Wombo Combo. We even have Snake Skin Veil to protect it. So let's see if this can be the game that we finally assemble the Avengers and pop off. Now let's hope they are not playing colors that are heavy removal. Um, even still, okay, a blue. We're probably fine with that. We're going to risk it and lay the doll this turn. Okay, they return it. That's fine. That's fine. Just don't want removal. <laughs> All right. We are going to lay this like that. And we are going to hold up Snakeskin Veil. I think that will make a big little difference here. Rona, what you got for me, baby girl? Now, you can also be playing the Otter that does a very similar thing. Um, what is the upside of her? You can transform her. So it looks like they're milling. They're probably doing some Hottie Jin stuff, but maybe not. So we're going to put the counter on Twitching Doll. Okay, so that's really nice. 
We are not too worried about that. Now we could plot. Let's lay this though to hopefully draw their attention to the dog instead of Twitching Doll. Possibly. Possibly. Now the idea is like, well, you'll see what I mean. We do want to get at least a few counters more onto the homie. Manifesting Dread, you say? Okay. All right. So honestly, we like this. Now, the Terror of the Peaks is extra sauce. That goes absolutely banana bread biscuits. Now, I think what we do is we just lay this. Just hard cast this. Now we can swing with trample here, but we're not actually going to because we don't really care about that so much. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, we don't care about that. We don't want to lose it. We're just big chilling. So let's see. How this ends up going. Okay, they transform homie. They're gonna go for the swings. There are they are scared of the reach, so that's really nice. Um we can block this. This does have trample though. Oh, interesting. No, yeah, we don't even want to block it because of uh, they get like a weird exile at random clause, which we're not digging. We are not a digger of that. Ooh, so <laughs> talk about juicy though, right? Okay, we have to try to set this up though. We have to. There's only one. There's only one thing to do. Okay. So now this is a 14-12 with haste, which is sexy. We could swing, but we don't necessarily even want to. Because all we're trying to do is do the spiders this game, okay? That's all I want to do. I just want to do the spiders this game. Alright, they return it. That's fine. <laughs> We will not block. If we can get the untapped mana here, that's pretty saucy. No, dude. That's so annoying. Okay. So what's really cool though, is once you slap down the Twitching Doll, you can immediately benefit. And if we had the second railway, we'd be in business business, but watch this, right? So you lay your doll, you get your plus two from the guy. Now you put four counters on it from this guy because this gets the plus two. Now it puts four because it was at four power. Now we immediately sacrifice the doll. So then we get four spiders. They all get the boost. And then we put four more counters on the spiders. So now all of a sudden, you have this insane amount of haste damage, right? So it's pretty it's pretty insane. Um, they don't have trample or anything. So we won't actually swing here if we're trying to win. But you can see how much damage that actually is. Um, and actually, if we swim with all of them... Yeah, because that's eight, 16, so that's 32. They have to block these three... I mean, they don't necessarily die if they block all of them, though. Yeah, because they're, they're only going to take uh, 16, which is unlucky. But if we had, like, Terror of the Peaks and stuff, you can see how much business we'd be in, right? So that's sort of the aim. Okay, interesting. We'll lay the rabbit.
Oh yeah, we could have just swung with the rabbit and won. Dude, I'm so stupid. I was just so happy we finally got to do that. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. Okay. So we pretty much just win the game here, though, with Gutter. Because we lay gutter. Look at how big they get. And we just win. And we have more creatures than them. Gutter takes two to block. So we're completely in business. So even though I was so stupid there. Where I could have just won if we swung with everybody in the rabbit. It doesn't even matter. Because that's just how good the deck is, baby. Nice little minus 20. 